Welcome to the Mac video for ERS Project Two-Way Gauge Comparisons. This video is the third and last in a series of videos for Project Gauges. The video describes how to add a two-way gauge comparison. After a successful initial three-way gauge comparison, valid gauges can be used to validate other project gauges. You must be in your system roles and have the role of project administrator to add, update, or delete a gauge comparison. Navigate to the ERS project for the gauge comparison and click on the gauge comparisons tab to expand it. We will also click on the gauges tab to expand it. At this point, we have entered project gauges and performed a successful initial three-way gauge comparison. The gauges in the three-way gauge comparison are valid. We can tell this because they have a check mark in the currently valid to use column. We can now perform a two-way gauge comparison. One of the gauges in this gauge comparison must be a valid gauge and the other must be a gauge of the other level that is not yet valid or it could be a IA project gauge and a gauge of any level that is not yet valid. We will use the valid QC gauge to validate a VT gauge. Select the Add Comparison option. An Add Comparison dialog box appears. Enter the date the gauge comparison was performed in the Comparison Date field. New fields appear for the gauges in the comparison. Fields for all three levels appear, just like we saw in the three-way gauge comparison video. Since we have a successful three-way gauge comparison already, we will be allowed to select only two of the three levels. We will select a valid QC gauge and a not yet valid VT gauge. New fields appear after each gauge is selected for technician wet density, and moisture. Enter the information for each level. At this point in the video, we will pause and enter the information. When you have entered the information, select the Save option. If the gauges compare, the previously unvalidated gauge will now be shown as validated. If they do not compare, the non-comparison is indicated in red bold font. The new gauge is not indicated as a valid gauge. Once gauges are designated as valid, do not include them in a three-way or two-way gauge comparison where all the gauges in the gauge comparison are valid. This may cause a gauge that was valid to no longer be valid. For example, the gauge that was made valid in this two-way comparison should not be included in another gauge comparison with other gauges that are valid if this gauge continues to be valid. Updating and deleting a two-way gauge comparison are the same as demonstrated in the three-way gauge comparison video. This concludes the MAG video for two-way gauge comparisons and the series for project gauges. Thank you for reviewing the training. If you need assistance with MAG, please contact your local district application coordinator. For assistance with ERS, contact the local district materials and research office earthwork specialist.